etiquette is something we have to re-structure uh, or reintroduce to people. There is an angle of etiquette in all aspects of our lives, at work, at home, business, social, school, play, etiquette as it relates to family, friends, and foes. There's just no getting around it. Etiquette is in every aspect of our lives. I'm Sabrina Samuels, and welcome to my show, Modern Day Etiquette. Welcome to another edition of the Sabrina Samuels Show with me, Sabrina Samuels. Thank you for tuning in. On this edition, I'd like to address an email I received from one of my viewers. She said that she had been watching my YouTube channel and she was very inspired. And she started really lifting that self-esteem up and I'm so happy to hear that. She said her husband gifted her with a wonderful uh, gift card to a upscale spa in her area. She was excited because she'd never been to that spa before, so when she got there, uh, they took her to the, the waiting room, they gave her her robe and showed her all of the amenities, and she was so excited. She approached the spa area where they had the whirlpool prior to her massage and she said that uh, there were a few people in the jacuzzi area and they seemed to not really want her to be in there. So she said her self-esteem went down and she, instead of getting in the spa with the other lady, she decided to retreat and go into the waiting room and wait until her massage was, uh, her name was called for her massage. Well, she said, Sabrina, my self-esteem self went down and I, I really wasn't feeling uh, good about the whole experience. And I told my husband, I will never do that again. So she asked me my opinion. And of course, I can understand her sadness, but I was a little mad at her. So I told her, I said, you know what? I can understand you feeling bad, but you know what? You let someone else get into your head and make you have a bad experience. You never should have done that. That was your day to have a wonderful time. And you don't know what was on the, the minds of those women. You don't know what they were thinking about. They probably felt insecure about themselves that you were coming. Instead of you feeling insecure that they were there and they didn't want you there, they, you never know what's on a person's mind. So I shared with her an experience I had many years ago when my husband and I visited Budapest, Hungary. We were there on business. Uh, some of the women that also attended the conference with their husbands, we decided to go to the mineral baths. I was so excited about that experience. And when we got ready, you know, we had our robes on and we were about to get into the baths. I moved ahead, uh, you know, quicker than the other ladies because I was ready to get in there and really enjoy uh, the benefits of that mineral bath. I noticed when I was getting in, several ladies saw me coming and they got out. Well, I could have taken that as a negative response to me getting into the baths, and I could have looked at it in a very negative way, but I didn't. I was not there to please anyone but Sabrina. I had bathed prior to me getting to uh, the mineral baths. I was clean. I did all the right protocols. So as they were getting out, I got in there and I just stretched my arms out and smiled to myself, and I was just enjoying the benefits of that mineral bath. And the ladies who got out, they realized they were missing out on something. They got right back in that bath, uh, that mineral bath. And I looked at them and tilted my head, genteel-like, and they tilted their head. And we all enjoyed ourselves together. The bottom line is, you will reap exactly what you put into a situation. Sometimes you will meet people that are not so nice, and that's okay. And sometimes we're not so nice. But the bottom line is if we employ positive thinking, and, and you know, as much as we can, and I, I, I stutter over that as much as we can, because every day is just not gonna be a good day, let's face it. Every day we're not gonna be at our best. But if we try at least to put out the best energy we can, then we're going to receive that back. And that's what I do. You know, I'm a professional person. I'm a business person. I'm a nice person. But I'm, I'm not the kind of nice person that's all smiley up in your face in your business. 
I am a professional nice person because I'm at the age now where making friends is, is something that at my age you just don't do. You make acquaintances. You, you, you have a camaraderie of people that you enjoy being with and that's important. You respect people. If we go into any and every situation with that mindset, then we're going to have a good time and we're going to also project that to others so that they can have a good time. Look, life is not fair and sometimes we will experience a little bit of negativity, but turn it around. Turn it around. You don't have to be in an atmosphere that's going to turn you off. You don't have to, to be in an atmosphere that is not going to uh, give you positive uh, vibrations. And if you're not giving that out, don't expect it back. Be the best you can be. And this is what I told the young lady. Don't ever take in what you think someone is feeling about you. You take in that which you give out. If you are going into a situation with a smile and you're happy and joyous and someone gives you something different, bless them, honey, and keep it moving. Keep it moving forward. But give your best at all times. Do your best and be your best. With that said, she was very happy. She says, well, I didn't expect you to beat me up, Sabrina, like that. But she laughed and I laughed. And she said, you know, you're right. And at first I told my husband I would never, ever... Um, do the spa thing again, but you know what? I think I'm going to do it again. And I said, you should. You should make it uh, a point to frequently go to the spa if your budget will allow. I mean, none of us can go to the spa like we'd like to go. I know I would love to go every week if I could, every other day if I could. But, you know, I, I'm realistic like everybody else. Well, with that said, I hope that that blessed your day as well. And I'd love for you to go to my website and check us out, see what we have to offer at BeckmanEtiquette.com. I'm Sabrina Samuels, wishing you love, peace, happiness, and our Heavenly Father, divine order in your life. See you next week. Bye now. Modern Day Etiquette.